Hello friends, welcome back to OK Java. In this video, we'll talk about functional interface before Java 8. It's one of the very good interview question and I believe that you guys must know. Was there, do we really have any functional interface prior to Java 8? So that is what we are going to cover in this video. All right, so let's begin the video. So the question is here on your screen. Interviewer may ask, can you please name any functional interface which was there prior to Java 8. Now, if you guys remember, we have discussed in the prior videos that functional interface was introduced in Java 8 as part of Java 8 release, right? But the question here, it says, can you please name any functional interface which was there prior to Java 8? All right. So the answer is here. Yes, there are few functional interface available in Java prior to Java 8 itself. Now the very first example is runnable interface. So I believe you guys know about a little bit about multi-threading. How do you create a thread class? So either you can extend the thread class, right? Or you can implement the runnable interface. Remember, so this is the same runnable interface which you use to create a thread, right? So this particular, what is the definition of functional interface? Functional interface says that it can have only one abstract function. So runnable interface has only one abstract function, which is run method, right? So that's why it is one of the existing functional interface and it is there in Java from the beginning, from the Java 1.0, right? So let me give you an example. We'll talk about these two points later, but first let's go and discuss the runnable interface. Okay, here we are. Let me just go ahead and create a new class. So I'm calling it existing functional interfaces, right? Let me just create a man method first. As I told you, here we are talking about runnable interface, right? Runnable. So we are going to implement runnable here only. Runnable is an interface in Java and it says, let me just first open this particular interface. You see here, public interface runnable. And what is this? Here is the annotation. What it says, at the rate functional interface. So I hope it's clear now, right? So, runnable is existing functional interface uh, which was there in Java since Java 1.0, right? And why it is a functional interface? Because it has only one abstract method called run method. See an error, it says, please add an implemented method, provide the implementation. So, here is my run method. So, I will simply write a simple sys out here, space, which is a functional interface and what is the method it has it has got run method which is the abstract function all right so now we have the implementation of this run method here let me just go ahead and create the object of my class because i want to create so i'll just call it a reference equals to new object right now because i hope you guys know that you are we are, we are we are implementing a runnable interface right so we need we cannot simply call the run method we need to create the thread object first. Now I can use this thread object, thread uh, object to start the thread. Correct. Now if I run this one, I would see something like this: functional interface before Java 8. So here we are not talking about the multi-threading concept, but the idea behind this particular uh, explanation is that I just want uh, to clear that we have something called runnable interface, which was there from the very beginning in Java, and it's one of the functional interface right and the method I hope it's clear now let's go back to the slide and uh, understand the next one all right so we have covered this one now I hope it's much clear to you guys the next interface which we have which is like next uh, functional interface which we have is comparator interface so I believe if you guys have ever done any sort of comparison on an object you must have heard about this particular interface comparator you might have used this one so many times Right. So what I will do is let me give you an example and then I will make you understand this one as well. All right. So I'll go back to the ID. Okay. Here I am. So this time I already have a class here and what do I have here is I have list of uh, objects, right? If you see, this is my class player comparator functional interface. I have simply created one list and I have put some player in my list. So basically I have six or five to six objects. Basically, what do we have? We just have one regular class. 
man method there is one error list and nothing else right and here is my pozo player now if i print this one right let me just execute this class so here you have list of uh, players like we're in the server such in euro scholarly so this is the way we have added here right there is no sorting correct so so let me create one class here so that i can so here we are going to talk about my class is a player comparator because we are going to compare the plates let me go ahead and implement if you guys remember here we are talking about comparator interface right comparator correct comparator interface player okay so i'll come back we'll write the implementation later but first let's go and see this particular interface comparator so if i go here you see what do you see here it says comparator interface in java is a functional interface and it was there since java 1.2 correct i hope it's clear why it's functional interface because this particular interface called comparator has only one abstract method which is this one compare now you can see that it does not have public abstract but this is the default property of interface all the methods in interface are by default public and abstract how can you say it's abstract because there is no method body there is no implementation of this particular function here right now what else you see here default i told you if you guys remember a functional interface can have n number of default functions remember right okay let's go back so i hope it's clear to you guys that we have comparator is one of the existing function interface in java which was there from java 1.2 right now let's go back to the example let's see how can we uh, write the comparator here now why do we use this comparator so comparator is basically comes into picture when you want to do some sorting on an object because here is my list right is list an object list of players so whenever you are dealing with an object and you want to perform some, some sort of uh, shorting on based on some properties you always go ahead and make use of the comparator interface right now this guy is asking me to override the compare method which is this one here right so i will provide the implementation for example let's go ahead uh, first of all i want to sort these error list as per the name so what i can do is let me just uh, do the return here return and i want to let me just change this object one to p1 p1 is my player one right i'm going to compare two player one and player two what it says p1 dot name p1 dot name p1 is player right p1 dot name dot compare to so compare to you guys remember compare to your function okay so what i'm trying to do here is i have two players player one and player two and i want to compare the name so if you guys remember compare to is a function from a string class right so i hope you know that there are uh, three ways you can compare like one is equals method or equals ignore case then we have double equals to which matches the reference and then we have compared to function and string class to compare to strings right so for example if i open this particular function here it does lexicographically what does it mean it basically compares the character by character it does the comparison right so let me give you an example let me just run this particular class and then you will see the difference here right so i hope i'm making some sense here so now what i will do is let me just so how do we short so in collections dot short is a function if you see if you are using a regular list you can simply pass a list here but here we are we have a list of objects so i'm going to call the second so list is here and then i will pass my comparator new comparator here you go right correct now i can print this one right simply uh, what i can do is i can do same or i will just comment this portion out and then i will just print this one only i hope it's clear right so what i'm doing is i'm going to sort my list of uh, players by name you can see it's here correct let me run this one and then let's see the result java application and you see here we have got k comes first before r then we have r then we have s we have s and then y comes in the end right so this is how it works now in case if you if you want to change the implementation you can do for example 
this time we have uh, shorted by using name but uh, what we want to short by the runs like uh, runs right so i want to have 1500 first and then 2600 runs then we have 4000 correct so what you can do is let me just comment this portion so this is the good part of comparator right you can provide your implementation the way you want to code the way the, the way you want to compare you can write in the compare function then from there you're good to go right now this time i want to compare based on what based on the uh, runs score right so runs score if this is greater than if p1 is greater than p2 dot runs is called then return because my first guy is greater than one so i so i hope you guys know when you are dealing with the when you are using compare function it returns either one if first value is greater than second one it returns positive first value is smaller than it returns minus one or if it is equal then it would be uh what do you call that zero so p1 dot runs because i am writing my own implementation so i have to do like that if p2 is less than then what i'm expecting here is return minus one because my first uh, object is less than the second one else else in the sense return zero because both are equal so you see it equal done now if i run this one right so currently this sorting was as per the uh, name but now i want to show it as per the runs score right so let me just run this one You see the naming convents, it is not sorted by the name R K S Y, right? So let's go to the matches here. Runs is scored 15,000, 26k, 4,000, 43, 6,500, and then 11,324 runs, right? So interface the idea behind this particular explanation is that I want to just uh, let you guys know that we have. An existing interface in Java, existing functional interface in Java prior to Java 8 as well, right? This is what the idea behind this particular. Now, in case if you see in this example, I have used the directly the variables name. You guys can go ahead and create the getter setter as well, and then you can use the getter setter, which is the better way. But for now, because I have all these properties in the same class, I'm able to access it. So, but don't worry, guys. We'll talk about comparator, comparable, and other type of sortings in the coming video slide once again. All right, so here you see there is one more interface called action listener, right? And it has one abstract function called action performed, which which runs on some event. So we cannot simply implement this particular interface just like that. But I will show you how it looks like. All right, so what I will do is let me just uh, put this one here only. Action listener is the interface. Let me open. You see here. This is my interface, Excel listener, and you see there is only one abstract method. I hope you know it's abstract, right? And it was there since Java 1.1, right? Now, let me give you a question actually. So, let me just take this out. Now, this is a homework for you guys. You need to try it and tell me something. In Java, if you guys know compare, right? We have one more interface, interface called compare, right? Sorry, comparable. So comparable is another interface in Java, which is again we use to do the comparison, to do the sorting. It is there since Java 1.2 and it has got only one function, one abstract method compared to. But still, this is not a function. So by definition, according to the definition, it is a function interface. Why? Because it's an interface and it just has got only one abstract function. Still, it is not a functional interface so you need to find out the reason why why don't we consider comparable as functional interface in java what is the reason behind that so i will explain but not here in the later point of time but this is for you guys to find out why comparable is not considered as a functional interface in java even though it has got only one abstract method all right so this is the homework for you guys you need to google it you need to find out and then we'll discuss if you guys know the answer just let me know in the comment section and if you guys want me to explain again you have to let me know in the function interface was there before java 8 only we have seen couple of examples then what is new in java 8 so java 8 has introduced new is added function interface this particular annotation was introduced in java 8 itself Apart from this particular interface, Java 8 has also introduced built-in functional interfaces. 
Now I'm not going to cover all these interfaces. I just want to give you a heads up that I'm going to cover all these functional interfaces in the coming videos. But what I just want to mention here is what is new in Java 8? Java 8 has introduced built-in functional interfaces. Examples, predicate. Function, consumer, supplier, we have by predicate, by function, and by consumer. So all these are built-in functional interfaces available in Java 8. Predicate is an interface. So predicate is an interface because we know function interface can have only one abstract method. What is that particular method? It is test. Function is again another functional interface in Java and the abstract method is apply. Then we have consumer. The method is accept. Supply. So here we are done with this particular video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you so much.